We welcome you back to CBS Mornings. We are hearing renewed calls across the country for change after the release of the Tyree Nichols video. It shows a 29-year-old father being beaten repeatedly for three minutes by Memphis police officers following a traffic stop earlier this month. Now, he died three days later. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump represents Tyree Nichols' family, and he joins us now. Good morning, Ben. Um, I've morning, seen many Gabriel. interviews... Good morning. I've seen, it's, it's not really a good morning. I've been thinking about this story all weekend ever since I saw the video. I've seen many interviews with the Nichols family over the weekend, so I know they're not doing well, but I know you're in constant contact with them. Can you just tell us how they're getting through? You know, Gail, as his mother, Rovon Wells, said, she believes uh, God sent her son, Tyree Nichols, here on an assignment, and now mm. he's gone back home to be with his heavenly father and she has to believe that because that's the only thing that can allow her to cope with this tragic death of her son and she believes Gail there has to be something good that comes from this tragedy yeah I think we're all trying to think what is the silver lining here because right now it's very difficult to see I think when many people saw the identities of these officers and that they were all black. I think that was very painful and very surprising to many in the black community. Does that make a difference to you? Does that make this case different to you? Well, this case is uh, important on so many levels, Gail King. And as I have said, in my 25 years of doing this civil rights work all across America, and you and I have talked about many of these tragedies, it is not the race of the police officer that is the determining factor of whether they're going to engage in the use of excessive force. It is the race of the citizen. And oftentimes, it's black and brown citizens that bear the brunt of the brutality. We don't see videos, Gail King, of our white brothers and sisters who are unarmed having this kind of excessive force exerted against them. Uh, ben, it's Vlad. I, in the video, we see other additional first responders just standing around. I think that's what disturbs a lot of people. It's not just these officers. It's other first responders on the scene who aren't doing anything to help this young man on the ground. What should happen to them? Well, they should be held accountable as well. Uh, the fire department officials have been relieved of duty while they investigate, and I don't know how much we have to investigate because you see Tyree Nichols clearly after he's been plummeted. I mean, he's been kicked, he's been punched, he's been hit with police sticks, and he's there in handcuffs moaning on the ground, and everybody's walking around nonchalantly like it's business as usual. So it should be accountability for everybody on the video. And I want to be exceedingly clear on this point. The fact that these five black police officers were terminated arrested and charged within 20 days uh, from this tragedy is now the blueprint going forward. I mean, yeah. you, you can't tell us anymore that it takes six months or it takes yeah. a year, kind of like Eric Gardner when he was killed yeah. on video or whether it's E.J. Bradford shot the Thanksgiving in Alabama on video. Uh, the police chief said it was important that they... The community saw swift action and that they moved swiftly to justice. And so we in our community say when white police officers kill us too, then we want to say it's important to the community also to see swift action and swift justice. This is the blueprint now going forward. Uh, ben, it's Tony. Uh, you know, these five officers were part of a, an anti-crime unit that had a mission of restoring peace to communities there in Memphis that were struggling with reckless driving, with a rise in violent crime, with murder. What needs to be done, looking at the bigger picture, to make sure that police can do their jobs, communities can feel safe, without having cases like this continue to come up? How do you strike a balance that benefits all parties here? Well, Tony, as we told President Biden when uh, we were talking to him, that we have to use this tragic video, and it's a, uh, a 
very hard video because you think about the Rodney King video in 1992, and that's what it reminds many people of, or they say mm -hmm. it's far worse. And these were watershed moments in America. The 1992 Rodney King video, and now the 2023 video from Tyree Nichols killing by the police. And so yeah. we have the yeah. past. George Floyd Justice and Police Act, that Congress has to re-engage. We have Let, to let's use see, this. Ben. Let's see, Ben, if it is a watershed moment, but I'm trying to figure out how it even got to this point. Even the police chief in Memphis seems to be questioning whether it was a legitimate traffic stop. What can you tell us about how it went so wrong so quickly and so violently? Well, we believe this Scorpion unit, uh, this organized crime unit, commonly referred to in cities as the Jump Out Boys, that many in the white community have never heard of, but in the black community and brown community, it's these police officers that jump out all of a sudden, they swarm you, and they're very aggressive, and they normally are, are trampling on your constitutional rights. And you see it in Tyree's video, where they start cursing at him and being so yeah. aggressive from the very beginning. And Tyree said, what did I do? I just That's what I'm trying home. to figure out. What was the crime that he committed or they thought he committed? They, they allege, Gail, that it was reckless driving. But we're going to have a press conference tomorrow with another citizen who said he was just going to get a pizza about three or four days before yep. this happened to Tyree Nichols and that they attacked him, threw him on the ground, put a gun to his head, and he reported it uh, the next day, yeah. called twice. And they never responded. And the belief, Gail and Tony and Blad, is if they would have just responded, then maybe, just maybe, Tyree Nichols would not have been killed yep. three days later. Hmm. Yeah, Mr. Crump, you always bring passion to these yeah. stories, these cases. We wish there weren't so many of them, uh, but we know we will see you again soon. We'll keep talking about this subject. Ben Crump, thank you very much. Thank you. This is CBS Mornings. We'll be right back.